Hey, this is Tim Shepard, the Vintage Airstream Podcast. I'm in my 1963 Ambassador, Airstream Ambassador. And today I'm going to be installing a Go Power battery monitor. Um, they sent me this to uh, check it out. I do have the 500 watt Go Power so flexible panel uh, solar system on the roof of the trailer. There's other videos that you could check out for that. Um, so this battery monitor comes with the actual display and a battery shunt. We'll talk more about that. And the optional Bluetooth dongle so that you can uh, check on your batteries using a, an application on your phone. Also all the cables needed to hook it up and a uh, manual. So first thing I would do, which I did, unless you have better eyes than me, is take and go to their website and <laughs> print a big manual. You can uh, have two uh, battery monitors, so one for your house battery and uh, one for your starter battery if you're in a mobile home or a van or something. Um, and then I want to talk about the shunt. So the shunt is how the battery monitor knows how much power you're drawing, how many amp hours you have left. You have to program all that in here when you first set it up. But this is how it knows. So this actually goes in line with the negative terminal on your battery to the rest of the loads on the trailer. Uh, if you've watched, kept track of uh, the stuff I've installed over the years, you know that I installed a trimetric battery monitor, which is the same kind of um, shunt. So this one's good for 500 amps, um, which is kind of important if you're running heavy loads like inverters, uh, like I do. Um, this one's a little different that it has this little PC board on here. And um, the nice thing in the manual, this is removable. So I'm gonna see if, if it'll fit on the current shunt I have on my trimetric. I kind of want to run both of them since that one's already installed. And um, if not, the trimetric also uses the 500 amp uh, shunt. So it should be compatible just by connecting to these two terminals here. And then the uh, Go Power solution is plugging in with this cable here into this outlet um, directly to the back of this. So we'll see how all that goes together. Um, that's what I'll be doing here shortly and I'll show you the results. Hey everybody, this is Tim back again. I got the battery monitor installed. Uh, fortunately, I couldn't use the shunt that came with the trimetric. I had to uh, replace it, but since they're the same 500 amp uh, 50 millivolt spec. Um, I was able to just connect the wires um, from the trimetric to the Go Power, so I can have both systems running at the same time. So let me go ahead and show you um, how it turned out. Now, mine probably isn't a normal installation because I'm constantly installing and trying these products as they come out. Um, so I, I, you would mount it more on a permanent. You know, you'd probably cut a hole in your wall and, and mount it. And I didn't do that because it may may stay, it may go, something else may come. You know, like I have the trimetric in there. I've had um, the solar, uh, the original solar that Go Power sent with the uh, uh, PWE, uh, PWM um, charge controller. Now I have the MPPT one. Um, I've tried the uh, trimetric solar controller. Um, so I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm constantly changing items out. So I just did like a surface mount box um, for now. So anyway, I'll show you how it turned out and uh, then we'll do a couple of tests to see it in action. So let me uh, switch this camera around and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so the picture I showed you is actually underneath that bed. That's where the batteries and all the um, wiring, fuse jacks, fuse blocks, everything is underneath there. So just keep it simple. I just put the um, monitor here. Uh, like I said, it's on a surface mount box. You know, you probably cut a hole and make it flush mounted. Uh, here's the Bluetooth module right here. 
and that's what lets you connect it to your phone which I'll show you that in a minute um, and here's the actual monitor you can cycle through I'm at 13.57 volts and here's the PW or excuse me, the MPPT charger so you can see that uh, that was put in a while back with the 500 watts from GoPower. Uh, so this is picking up the current off the uh, shunt. I did some tests already, so I already dropped my batteries down to 95%. And I have 13 amps coming in right now from solar. So that's pretty nice. And so let's go ahead and look back. So it says 13.2. And then, of course, when I built the trailer, I had the trimetric. So that's showing 12.5. So it's probably just a little bit different because of the wiring or the algorithms they use. I'm not quite sure. Or because this is the different shunt. Um, but still, you know, it's close, close enough. So um, I have the Go Powers inverter on right now. So let's watch Josh turn this off and that'll drop the so now I have 16 amps coming in to the batteries so what's happened if you think about it it takes a couple amps to keep the uh, when the inverters on it just draws a couple amps just natively being on um, so now those are going those amps are going into the battery so it's showing 16 amps here gonna get dizzy walking back and forth and 17 here okay oh let's go ahead and look so I put the app on the iPad <clears throat> so this is the app um, so an interesting thing is you can see it I just install it so it has all these things um, one thing I notice is if the iPad turns off or it's been sitting a while, it, it there's no a good way to tell that you're still actively updating. That would be nice. So, um, it says, oh, there, I saw the change. What I had to do before, like on my phone, is go back because you can have multiple devices listed. Here's the bat monitor. You can name it. So that's kind of nice. And there, connected. So yeah, I have 17.3 amps coming into the batteries. Um, I've consumed minus four amp hours. That's when I was testing it by running the microwave off the inverter. It just shows the capacity. This is something I had to enter in because I have two 100 amp AGM batteries. And I'm at 13.7 volts or 96% capacity. Alrighty, so let's do some tests. Okay, so we're back inside uh, my main electrical monitor station here. Uh, so let's go ahead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the inverter. So there you hear it turn on. This is a nice remote panel. The inverter is actually in the back. So okay, now I have 12 amps going in to the battery. So here's the inverter. It's a 2000 watt inverter, pure sine wave. It's also go power. And that panel's just the remote monitor and on off. Um, so here we go. 13 amps coming in from the solar. Sorry about that, there you go. So we're gonna run the microwave off of the battery and off of solar. So I have a glass of water in here. Okay, so in case you want to know how much power it takes to heat water, it takes a lot. Well, so far it's 117 amps, 120 amps. So what's nice is we're getting some current from the solar helping out. 20 amps coming in from the sun. 
So this would normally be 140 something amps. We'll compare 120 amps on the trimetric. That's nice. And then let's get to the app. Here you go, 120 amps. So it takes, with solar, 500 watts. So I got 20 amps coming in. There, the microwave just quit. We can watch this drop. There you go, look at that. And my battery is still about 94%. So, there you have it. Um, solar heated water, <laughs> I guess. That's one way to do it. But uh, the battery monitor is pretty nice. I like this uh, remote app ability. It will store a history, um, which of course I just installed it, so I'll have to see how that uh, pans out. Um, and it's nice, you can have the two monitors uh, in at the same time. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, but it seems pretty cool. It is Bluetooth, and it's pretty easy to set up. You just load, the, you download their app, the GoPower app from your App Store or Play Store, and you just push plus and then it automatically finds that Bluetooth module and you could name it and that's it. It's all done. Looks like you could have multiple ones. Maybe if you had multiple monitors. Um, it would be nice if there was a some kind of gateway to Wi-Fi since my trailer has Wi-Fi. Then I could check on the battery from anywhere in the world. But uh, with Bluetooth, you'd have to be you know inside of your vehicle. Other than that, that would be the only nice thing that would be a, a nice to nice to have. Um, let's see what else would be nice. I guess if there was a second shunt that just came from the solar, because the the charge or see the current you're seeing is net, so it is. Um, the difference between what's coming in and what you're using so if solar's coming in like we saw the 20 amps um, it took away from the 145 amps that it would take to to uh, heat the water so it would be nice if you could have a separate reading on here that would show the amount coming in just from the solar that would be kind of cool um, but otherwise just to, the purpose of this one is to see how much battery you have left you know, especially if you're boondocking or something like that. All right, so that'll do it. Thanks for uh, checking out our video. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.